Hello guys and girls, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing fine in your quarantine zone lives right now. If you are a first responder, grocery worker, gas station employee, thank you for what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. You're the reason why this country is still running the way it is. But we are back with a, another truck review today. This is our final um, truck. I guess it's not our final. We can do the boats side by side too. But I decided to finally do engine 91. Um, so with this quarantine stuff going on, how it's affecting my department, uh, we don't have our Monday night meetings anymore. Instead, we have a couple guys come out to the station. And when I say a couple, maybe two to three guys come out and they check off trucks, make sure all the trucks have diesel, water still filled up, the equipment's running properly, and your know, maintenance is you know, still key in a fire department because we are the backbone of emergency situations in Work County and people rely on us. And if we're not there and if our equipment's ineffective, then what good are we? So I figured uh, since I'm gonna be checking off 91 here in a little bit, why not do a video on it too? Just kill two birds with one stone. So this is our engine 91. It is a 1994 International. Um, she holds a thousand gallons of water. This truck is very useful to us. We take it out on, we can get this truck out on smaller roads um, because you know we do live in a rural area. Therefore we have tighter roads, whether if it's gravel or pavement or anything like that. Um, this is our smallest engine, so it, the steering on's a lot tighter and we can maneuver it on windier roads and it's a lot faster than taking a 19 ton truck out compared to our you know, 93 or 94 in the bay. So um, we can take it on structure fires, brush fires, um, LZs. So up here in the front, um, we have set a hose in here, but it's not connected. There's not an actual front charge. We just hold hose with nozzle. So we could come up here though, run out with it, and then the pump operator could just hook it up to either side. And so therefore, I mean, it's, I don't know, I've never pulled it, but. So, just like all the other engines, it has um, cross legs on each side. Um, something I really like about this truck compared to our other engines is it has a smaller hose up there. I think it's just a one inch. So we can pull that off and we can spite, you know, like small, um, maybe if it's like a trash or a dumpster pile or, you know, a tiny brush fire, but we usually don't ever fight brush fires with water. Very rarely do you ever. So the driver operator jumps into the cab. Um, door of Bible it looks like a DOT ERG and just some other basic paperwork um, here's your master flip that on powers up the truck jump in here um, that's the key and the gear shift and this also has a code 3 beacon siren there's a radio, um, there's some more paperwork, gas car, LZ setups. And yeah, so this truck can hold up to three people if desire. We have pushed three people in a cab before. Um, I mean, this truck's pretty basic. I mean, the pump panel's down there, or the uh, tube and gauge pump is down there. And yeah. After the driver engages the pump, you can come out here and tank the pump. Run, um, throttle it up, then whatever the firefighter pulled, whichever um, cross lay, just pull whatever one they pulled and throttle it up, and you got water. So. So in our first compartment, like all of our other engines, it just has 
hose and hose fittings. It's just some basic um, operator stuff. Um, these are meant to hold air bottles, but we don't hold air bottles in any, either of these because these are so old, they give out. And if uh, we're going down the road and we hit a turn sharp enough, then the bottle can actually come out and cause the door to come up and our air bottles will go flying. So, kind of dangerous too. So, this compartment, we just have some handheld tools, some sledgehammer trash hook, pickaxe, axe, some Haugens. I don't know why we got two Haugens up here. But, um, some flashlights. I have to look over our other engines now because I don't think this truck's supposed to have two Haugens. So, this truck does hold SCBAs. Um, we only have three on here though. These are old, old MSA style SCBAs. These things are pretty heavy. They're not old steel bottles, but they're the next best thing to it, so. We actually just got a grant for brand new MSA SCBAs. We're really happy about it. Can't wait till they come in. It's gonna be really cool. So, this truck also holds a generator so we can plug fans into or whatever else we can desire. So in the back we have a bliss nozzle. This truck does have five inch hose, five inch and three and a half. In here, have an attic ladder. There we go, she's being a little stubborn. So, in our compartments back here, <clears throat> we have a leaf blower for fighting brush fires and a chainsaw. That's all this compartment holds back here. I forgot to mention, this truck also has a deck gun. So, another benefit of it over our engine 93, 91, and 94, the only other engines that have said deck gun. Or someone, I can't remember what someone, someone commented on one of my last videos and told me the proper name for it. I can't remember what it is. But I was really amazed by it because I'd never heard of it. And I'm sorry, whoever you are, I really appreciate it. Um, but I can't remember what it's called. But so we have a fire extinguisher here, tire chains, a electric fan for ventilation. This compartment we have our hydrant. Bucket, not basket, but bucket. Another wheel chalk, a salvation cover, and our what I call hose cut off. I don't know the proper name for this is, but you put hose, a charge line between that you clamp down and it stops the water from traveling. Um, so you can move hose or put a, another pre connect on or whatever you want to do. Um, Got our ladder there, some suctioning. We got seam lights up there. And we have two other discharges on this side. Um, we have an intake here, a hydrant. And something I forgot to mention in the cab. Um, and the steering wheel, and on the floor pedal there, controls these loud, awesome horns in the front, as I'm sure you all have heard in my videos before, this thing is super loud, it's pretty cool. Well, I mean, this pretty much sums up our Engine 91, you know, we've had her for quite a while, I can't, I don't, I'm not sure what year we bought it new and I couldn't find our Facebook post, but I just know we've had her for a very long time. And so I appreciate y'all watching. Um, if there's anything else you want to see, you just want to maybe see a station review or something. We're still working on our new edition in there. Things kind of came to a halt though with everything going on in the world, but 
I'd still like to show you guys. Maybe do an update video when the finished product is done. Maybe in a couple of years. But appreciate y'all watching. Um, be safe. Keep washing those hands. And so y'all have a good one.